Rick Dunbar knew very little about ALS until his doctor sat him down last August and gave him the devastating news. The first few days we were in shock. Um, talked to the kids. The family. And then we just decided that the best way to go through this whole thing was to just keep going, do what we normally do. Well, he got games on Saturday too. What are you doing? But since his diagnosis less than a year ago, the 65-year-old Kamloops man has come to the realization <laughs> that normal doesn't mean what it used to. He's lost 45 pounds, can hardly walk, and has very little strength in his arms and legs. Everything takes you looking for cook? double or triple the time to do now, which it never did before, which gets me down. Despite those daily challenges, Dunbar continues to help run a pilot car company, does some consulting work, and enjoys as much time as he can with his family and friends. He's also become a fierce supporter of the ALS Society, hoping to raise awareness about a disease that kills thousands of Canadians and has no cure. We want to raise some funds and uh, try and help out the best we can. We've got lots of friends coming, I think. But it is definitely one that uh, we understand that the, the funding and the research that they're doing, and it's very costly. She way back. Dunbar and his family and friends will take part in the annual ALS walk tomorrow. His initial goal was to raise $1,000. He's now raised over 5000 and has nothing but praise for the ALS Society, which has provided for him, free of cost, much of the equipment he now requires. I think whatever we as a family can do to help out the ALS, we will. They've been very good to us, and uh, I think that uh, in return, if we can support them somehow, we will. Yeah, oh, good pool shots. Dunbar's biggest fear is knowing that ALS will eventually take his life. Still, he draws his strength from those around him and says he will continue to create awareness about ALS for as long as he can. You know, no matter what happens, you keep going. I take that now and I look at it and that's what I do. Every day is, is uh, I don't look at it as a challenge. I just say every day is there and I, I need to get through it and I need to do the best that I can.